Yo guys, Jerk the Game of Dragon doing some Halo Reach gameplay. This time we're going to be doing King of the Hill on the map Ascension. Well, Pinnacle, actually. The, fuck it, it's Ascension, that was the name. Anyway, I start out by accidentally launching myself right into the middle of the match just because I was holding forward down in the analog stick. Land almost dead and not get any points out of that. I didn't even get one second, I don't know how I didn't get one second. Ugh, oh, that was kind of annoying, because the rocket launcher was right there, and I could have picked it up, but I was holding forward because I had just spawned. Halo has horrible spawning. Um, I swear they do it intentionally, like, they'll put a spawn right next to a cliff, or right next to a man cannon that'll launch you into the middle of the map, just to be like, ha, huh, look what you did, you're an idiot. Just to, like, make you feel bad. It's so annoying. Anyway, uh, god, why do people feel the need to show their bad opinions? <laughs> It's kind of stupid to say people have bad opinions, but we had Elite Slayer on, I think it was Reflection, and then we had Slayer Pro on Zealot, and then King of the Hill on Ascension, and they vote King of the Hill! Out of all of that voting, why the fuck would you choose King of the Hill over those two? Like, why? They need to have... Okay, Rumble Pit should have no objectives. Nothing but regular Slayer. Nothing but Slayer, Slayer DMR, Slayer Pro, Elite Slayer, just stuff like that. Because that's why people play Rumble Pit, or at least I thought, before people started voting shit like King of the Hill and Headhunter and all that crap. And there, I didn't know where the guy was, and he drops out of nowhere. I almost got him, actually, but nope. Guy with the rocket launcher got me. Kind of annoying. But yeah, they really need to make, like, Rumble Pit objectives, instead of just... There should be a Rumble Pit, and then there should be a Rumble Pit Objectives mode, so there's two different ones. So that people like me, who want to actually just do the whole point of Rumble Pit, don't have to play shit like King of the Hill. I mean, it's not like I'm bad at King of the Hill. As you'll see, I normally end up winning King of the Hill, but, you know, just, it's not what I want to play. Oh god, most amount of grenades, what's going on? Anyways, you see what I'm doing right here. The hill will respawn or at least change places every 60 seconds. And you can see how many seconds it has left. So, if you just watch that number, because I get lucky and hit this guy, if you watch that number and if it's about to respawn, go somewhere else on the map and uh, wait for that hill to respawn. Because you can get a lot of points before anyone else gets there, because they're all fighting back where the old hill was. Like, even if the hill disappears, people continue to fight to try to kill each other. And that's more, uh, another hint I can give you guys. Do not fight people unless you absolutely have to. <laughs> oh my god, I went flying. But, um, wow, man, I'm flexible, too. But, uh, yeah, as I was saying, don't fight people unless they are shooting at you. Because if they're just flying by and you start shooting and you're not even near the hill, there's no point to start shooting. It just delays you on what you're doing. Uh, I kind of just contradict myself by doing that, but he had no shield, so I wanted to shoot him anyway. Uh, but unless they're in your way and unless they're trying to kill you, there's there's no point to fight. Just try to try try to remain hidden. Try to be a little bit more stealthy. I realize it's hard to do in Halo, but you know it, it really does help. And those are really the two two key factors. Uh, watch the hills hills respawn time, and uh, try not to shoot people unless you really need to. Like this guy, he was just kind of on the way, and I really wanted to hit him in the back, which I finally got him. And then these guys start fighting. Um, someone's trying to light me up, and someone shoots him in the back, and I'm like, all right, you guys have fun. I'm gonna take off and uh, run to the hill, get some extra points while you guys are jerking each other off over there. And ultimately I die, but you know, I got that five extra seconds, which, believe it or not, that five extra seconds, if you do that every time, is really going to help. So, uh, King of the Hill is actually pretty easy for me. Super lunge. Uh, but King of the Hill is actually pretty easy for me just because people have a tendency to just shoot anyone they come by. And uh, they just don't think about it. Oh man. Oh, I just got hit in the back. Oh, no, I got shotgun. That's what happened. Well, I had low shields anyway. I was going to die. Anyways, you see right there? That's exactly what I was doing. Get out of here. Exactly what I told you guys to do. Um, I saw that the hill was about to respawn. I was like, all right, let's see where it's going to respawn. And I just got lucky and respawned right next to me. And Oh. <laughs> that was disappointing. I was like, yay, my shields are recharging. Oh, I got sniped in the back of the head. Well, that guy was picking up a shotgun. I got kind of lucky I had low shields. Hello. Bap. <laughs> I love it when you have a shotgun and they don't notice it. Oh god! <laughs> Why did that work? See, if this was, you know, if it worked like it was supposed to, um, that shotgun would have killed him on the first shot from ten feet away, but since shotguns in this game have the range of two feet, 
can fucking come farther than I can shoot a shotgun. That was a lucky ass headshot, by the way. Uh, yeah. Let's see, where is it gonna respawn? It's, uh, respawning in one, so where is it gonna respawn? And then, unluckily for me, it spawned farther away. I, I have no idea where this guy's shooting at me from, and I died, but. If anything, this is gonna play to my favor, because I can't respawn any far. No, wait, I can respawn farther away from the hill than where I currently was. That's cool. And, uh, gonna get revenge, but, oh shit! <laughs> I cannot tell you how many times I did that when I first started playing Reach. I still do that in a lot of games, where I'm just walking backward, because, uh, a lot of the aiming I do, movement helps with your aiming, you gotta have that synced up. Um, so I just walk off a cliff trying to shoot someone. I do that a lot. In that spot specifically, I did that so much when I first started playing. Uh, but normally I learn. Oh, I, I killed him with a headshot and someone else got me. Let's see, how long before the hill's gone? Can't see it. Well, we got a little bit of a time. No, we don't. We got five seconds. Oh shit, you! You asshole sniper! Get out of here! Yeah, get lost, dickhead. That, that asshole was just, he was there to just be a fucking troll. That's all he was doing. Um, he, he wasn't going for the hill, he wasn't doing anything. He would sit in a camping spot as far away from the hill as possible, just sniping people. And ultimately he got like four seconds in the actual hill itself. So like, what are you doing? No, stop that. And also right here I lost the lead and I'm like, oh shit, I can't have that stay. Die. Yeah, no, you get out of here. And I get just enough time take the take the lead back but I think I ultimately ended up dying here oh god grenades everywhere Jesus <laughs> that's I'm so glad they have the the restrictions in this match to one grenade instead of two because if it was, if it was two grenades you'd just be fucked and I don't know how my grenade how in the world did my grenade bounce backward like that I do not understand I still killed him but what the hell it lands on a slope and instead of bouncing upward over the slope, it bounces straight back at me like I'm throwing it at stairs or something. I, I don't even understand how that worked. <laughs> that guy just... Oblivious Joe. And that guy... That just looks... Okay, that's something about every game that's possible. That... Every game where it's possible to look straight up, and it allows you to do that, it just looks absolutely ridiculous. And Halo was one of those games... It was a lot worse than, like, Halo 1. Um... Where you'd like look up and you'd be really looking down on someone else's screen, but uh, I don't know. It's just kind of funny, and I'm surprised I got this many points in the middle of the map. Usually, if you try to take over the hill, there it's just there's no way in living fuck that you're gonna get any points because it's just right in the middle of the map. It's right close to where everyone respawns, so it's really hard. And uh, I got pretty lucky to get a decent amount of points just planking that guy off. And there's that sniping bitch again. Snipes me in the head. It's all he was doing, just sitting in the camping spots, just sniping people. And getting lucky no scopes. I'm gonna go ahead and ignore him because he's nowhere near the spawn and he can't snipe people from the angle he's at there. And I got stickies now. And uh, this is a pretty easy. You'd think this would be a harder hill to take over, but it's actually a pretty easy hill to keep. As I get that guy way over there, I didn't even know who I killed there at first. But, uh, almost dead. Someone else saves my life. It was like, that sniper actually saved me there. <laughs> that guy jumped to his death. What an idiot. <laughs> well, I don't know how his grenade didn't kill me, but he just jumped off. But, uh, yeah, I'm doing pretty good right now. Getting quite a bit of points. And, uh, someone was about to kill me, but that sniper that's just being an ass sniped him and actually saved me. So, I'm... Um, doing all right right now and oh shit there's someone yeah so I kill him and uh, there's no way I was gonna keep surviving that everybody at once just came in like a horde mode a bunch of people and hey look sweet and I don't know what this guy's doing it's probably that sniper again just sitting up there no that was the god the guy up there was a complete halo fag he was one of the guys that would play by running for the sniper rifle and then running for the rocket launcher and just would kill you over and over by picking up all the power weapons. Then he'd be bragging in the menu, be like, look at me, I'm the best. I'm so fucking awesome, look how good I am. Like, congratulations, you can use a sword and a shotgun. Use some real guns, learn some skill. Knowing where everything is on the map isn't skill, I hate to tell you that. Another funny thing is that there was someone else in a match who basically did that same thing except for also used armor lock. And he would use armor, armor lock in just the cheapest way possible. But, uh, his name was Lakers Forever. 
obvious, you know, Lakers fan. His colors were purple and yellow, and uh, he also had an emblem that was like the Lakers uh, logo as his emblem. <laughs> And uh, he trash talk a lot, and he was the stereotypical arrogant Lakers fan. It's just like, you really don't make your team look any better. Everyone on the Lakers is just a giant asshole. All their fans are fucking stupid. It's, that is like, I don't even know how they let, ugh, I hate Lakers. I just hate the Lakers. Being a Lakers fan, just no. You're not allowed to do that. <laughs> Stay in LA, please. And don't talk, ever. Just duct tape your mouth shut for, not, just duct tape your mouth shut for life. Anyway, there's some more Halo Reach gameplay for you guys. I won by a decent amount. Uh, once again, proof that just because you don't like something doesn't mean you're bad at it. And uh, there you guys go. There's some more Halo Reach gameplay.